I am ordinary in so many ways, except for God has given me a mission field in the entertainment world for the last four and a half decades. Former American television host Kathy Lee Gifford is a multi-talented performer, best known for her role as the co-host of Live with Regis and Kathy Lee, as well as her stint with NBC's Today. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Over the years, this multiple Emmy nominee sunk a considerable amount of her television paychecks into some significant real estate investments, and one of the first she ever secured for herself was an 11,419 square foot property in Florida's Key Largo. Kathy picked this place up back in 1998 for $3.9 million. Located in what's known as the Ocean Reef Club, Kathy's home is part of an exclusive community for the very rich, one that started off as a fishing camp in 1948 and developed into a neighborhood with two eight-hole championship golf courses, a swimming lagoon, a marina, its own fire station, and a fully staffed medical center. Oh, and did I mention there's also a landing strip located on site as well as a flying club, formal restaurants, specialty shops, and two dog parks. One for small pups and one for larger ones. Man, this community has really thought of everything, haven't they? Getting back to the house, however, it's a vaguely Mediterranean red tiled roofed mansion. It's been classically designed with subtle French inspired heritage. It sits on the water's edge on a nearly half acre parcel of land and inside its walls are eight bedrooms, eight bathrooms, as well as three elevator serviced floors. Wrought iron accented glass doors that have been set into a massive glass arch open at the front of the home and lead into a gigantic atrium. Here, you'll find rock, foliage, and water features backed by a brick wall and surround a wrought iron staircase. Those stairs take you to the great room, which boasts a double height coffered ceiling, a fireplace that's been wedged in between two built-in bookshelves, and a room-wide wall of glass panels that slide open to reveal the exterior swimming pool. Other living spaces include both a formal and informal dining room, as well as a pretty ordinary looking kitchen with a center island, snow white solid countertops, and dark reddish brown cabinets. As for the bedrooms, well, they've been sprinkled throughout the house and include a main floor master suite with a somewhat wacky palm tree mural plastered on its tray ceiling, as well as some glass doors provide access to the pool. And not far from there, you'll find a junior bedroom suite that offers its very own private sunset view terrace. Meanwhile, the lower level measures around 4,000 square feet and offers a fitness room with a view of the nearby water, as well as a bunk room lined with that at least three sets of children's bunk beds. Out back is a massive travertine tile terrace that's been enclosed and screened in to keep all those Florida bugs from being a nuisance, making for a more relaxed outdoor entertainment environment. Here is where you'll also find the swimming pool and spa, a marble fire pit, a waterside dining pavilion with accompanying outdoor kitchen, a small dock for jet skis, and a much larger one for any yachts that might be pulling up to Kathy's home for a visit. After Owning this property for two decades, Kathy would list her picturesque home for $10.5 million. It's unclear if she's ever found a buyer, but if I was her, I wouldn't be moving on from something as nice as this. Then again, I don't own three more homes like Kathy does, so let's head to one of those next. While Kathy has owned her Florida property for an extended period of time, it's always operated as a home away from home. For the most part, Kathy's main residence for the last 20 years has been this 13,000 square foot 1930s Gatsby style mansion. This stunning home sits on nearly three acres of waterfront property in the posh Greenwich, Connecticut. She and her late husband, former NFL player Frank Gifford, bought this home in 1994 for a reported $7.8 million. The hulking U-shaped mansion sits behind a long and winding driveway flanked with carefully clipped hedges and is said to have nine bedrooms and 10 full baths alongside three half baths. 
Over the years, Kathy often made it quite clear how much this home meant to her. Like when she invited NBC's Today over to check out her epic backyard, a location that she's described in the past as my favorite spot. Out here, the gated estate includes a kidney-shaped swimming pool with a pool house, as well as a tennis court and an entertainment terrace. There's also a great stretch of lawn and a variety of stone paved waterside terraces that can be used for al fresco dining with views over the Long Island Sound. As nice as it may look right now, back in 2012, Hurricane Sandy did a number on this property. So Kathy wound up transforming several of the hardest hit areas into spaces the whole family could enjoy once again. This overhaul included turning a damaged water slide into a spot called Bambino's Beach Bar, named after one of the family's dogs. Now, it's where Kathy's friends and family gather whenever they have something to celebrate. Like, say, Kathy's Today Show co-host Hoda's 50th birthday, and even Kathy's own 60th birthday. Another favorite part of this property is what Kathy calls Praise Point, a spot situated at the end of the yard where her kids once played when they were much younger. But after living in this home for so long, Kathy's husband would pass away, and the house became too big and full of memories for her to really enjoy on her own any longer. She explained this to NBC's Today, telling them, It came to feel like a mortuary with just me there alone, and I said I need to make a new life for myself or this one's gonna kill me. The loneliness was crippling. But rather than sell a place that holds such a special place in her heart, Kathy wound up giving it to her son instead so that he and his wife could start a family of their own there. Then she turned her sights south, more specifically, to Tennessee. Since making her way from Connecticut to Music City in 2018, Kathy Lee has been living in a gorgeous and comfortable home located just outside of Franklin, Tennessee. When discussing her move with Nashville Edit, she told them what inspired her to make the change, stating, What's so interesting about Nashville is that a dinner party often turns into a bunch of talented friends taking your guitar off the wall and writing a song. Then, out of nowhere, you've got a song to take to the studio. It's reported that Kathy first purchased a brownstone mansion in October 2018 for $1.25 million. And while she still owns this piece of property, she never spent much time there. Cause less than a year later, she was buying a second home in the same neighborhood in July of 2019 for $3.7 million. This 7,965 square foot two-story brownstone is said to be fitted with a handful of bedrooms and bathrooms as well as a stunning kitchen and a completely finished basement. And while we don't have too many details when it comes to the inside of her new digs, Kathy has shared the occasional glimpse on Instagram. For example, this look into her pristine kitchen with its granite countertops, wooden cabinets, and white flowers on display. Around the corner from the kitchen is Kathy's dining room, which she's decked out with a stunning table, dark blue chairs, and one-of-a-kind art art pieces hanging off her brick accent wall. Elsewhere, the home boasts vaulted ceilings and an array of other intricate details. Meanwhile, over in Kathy Lee's living room, you'll discover a gorgeous fireplace with some admirable woodwork and furniture that's no doubt covered in dog hair. Well, we can assume, right? And the property is even outfitted with a home office where Kathy stores the many awards that she's managed to collect for herself over the years. Last but not least is her enormous outdoor space that her dogs take full advantage of. Not only does she have a lovely little glass table set out here, her landscaping is picture perfect. Now that she's been living in Tennessee for nearly five years, things couldn't be going much better for Kathy. Not only does she love her new home, but she even revealed in April 2021 that she's been dating a new man, though she won't reveal his name to the public. But most important of all is how she's fitting in with her new community. She told NBC's Today, It's a culture of kindness in Nashville, and they are authentically kind. They're joyful, they have so much fun. Music everywhere. There are barbecues, everything is Americana. Like when I was growing up. Well, sounds to me like Kathy Lee has finally found her own little corner of paradise. But before we wrap up for today, ask yourselves this. Would you rather start all over in a new city at the age of 65 or spend your golden years living as close as possible to your family? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and be sure to tell me which of Kathy's homes was your favorite. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat further, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!